Hey guys, Matt from YouTube here with an update for those of you who make videos intended for more mature audiences. In order to better protect viewers under the age of 18, more of those videos are going to be age restricted. That's when viewers have to log in to confirm they're old enough to watch. There are no major changes to the policy, but starting today and rolling out over the next few months, YouTube is expanding the use of its automated systems to apply age restrictions to videos that aren't appropriate for all viewers. This includes categories like sexually suggestive content, new news videos that contain graphic footage, content with excessive vulgar language, videos about drug use, and more. Of course, you might ask, well, where does YouTube draw the line on what gets restricted? This doesn't mean saying a single curse word will automatically result in age restriction. The systems are weighing how prominent the stuff is on a video-to-video -video basis. Now, if your videos are already getting a yellow icon, that's a good sign they might get age restricted. Also, to be clear, the recommendation system isn't changing around these videos. The difference is viewers will now be required to be logged in and 18 or older to watch them. So this might cause a drop in viewership on those videos. And note, this also includes content that is embedded on third-party websites. Viewers on those sites will now have to click through to YouTube and log in. As for monetization on these videos, I'm told there might be a slight reduction due to fewer views, but probably not much since the content usually gets limited or no ads anyway. Now, in Europe, the verification part will be taken a step further in compliance with a new EU regulation called the Audiovisual Media Services Directive YouTube will be verifying some European users' age with a valid ID or credit card before they can watch age-restricted videos. Since all of this is being done mostly by automated systems, you might ask, well, what if the wrong decision is made on my video? You can always appeal for a human policy expert to take another look and potentially override the decision. All in all, this could be tough news for some channels, but at the same time, keep in mind that YouTube is doing more to protect those under 18. And if you're a parent like I am, maybe that's not the worst thing. See the links down below for more detail and thank you for your time.